Hello guys, what is up, it's Mace. Welcome back to Blazing Blaze. Today's video is kind of impromptu, kind of on the fly. I was not planning to do a video today, but then I decided to get on estatesales.net as I do. You guys know that is kind of my go-to spot for finding the estate sales that I go to. I will have it linked down below. I decided to just take a little peek on there as I do sometimes, and I found a sale on its last day a couple of days ago. And if you guys watched my last video, kind of all about estate sales where I gave my biggest tips and tricks for for shopping estate sales. I mentioned that a lot of estate sales go like 50% off, 75% off during the last couple of days of the sale. And since this happened to be the last day of the sale, it was 50% off. Everything was 50% off. And it looked from the listing like there was just a shit ton of clothing and accessories. So I posted like a vlog kind of like video of me in the sale over on TikTok. But I am here today to give you guys a massive, fabulous $100 estate sale haul that is honestly full of some of my favorite finds I have ever found at the thrift store, at any estate sale, at any vintage store in my entire life. This sale is amazing. So if you are new to my channel and you enjoy thrifting, estate sales, fashion, you know, letting your sparkle shine out your damn booty hole and being yourself to the absolute max, hit subscribe down below because we're gonna be going to a lot more estate sales in 2021. We've got shoes, we've got bags, we've got scarves, we've got mini ass designer perfume bottles. And let's just start with the purses because they were the first things that I found in one of the first like big ass closet rooms that I walked into. Okay. The the first bag that I found. I warned you guys, this is gonna be one of the best hauls you've ever seen on the tube. A denim ass bag. A denim mother effing ass bag. I literally could not handle myself when I saw this in the house. You can usually tell based on the house and like the kind of like decor that they have, whatever, what kind of vibe that person's closet is going to be. And I will say walking in, I did not expect the denim ass bag. So I don't know if they had like a fabulous granddaughter, grandson, whoever owned this fabulous denim ass bag, but I thank them for it. I love this. I have literally already worn it in the past few days. Next up is, again, one of the most special finds, an initial M bag. If you know, you know, I need everyone that owned an original one of these bags to comment down below right now immediately because these were a staple, a pillar of my youth, if you will. And the fact that I saw this initial bag in the closet at the estate sale and then it had an M on it for Macy, obviously, I knew it was meant to be. I knew we were meant to be together forever and I literally am obsessed with the look of it like this. Like I said, this is just a fun classic try on haul moment and I am obsessed with how this looks with this Playboy tee. Like this is a moment. This is about to be one of my absolute favorite bags for spring summer. Okay, next up are the last two bags that I got, which is this cute little pink kind of like crocodile alligator-esque um, material. It's just like a little pink mini bag. I don't have many pink bags. So again, with this tee, super fucking cute. And then this little kind of like white bag right here that just has this little tie right here. I don't know why, but this was giving me like very Sabrina the Teenage Witch vibes, just something like she would have worn, like hanging out with Salem. Yes, yes, we absolutely love. And yeah, I'm very pleased with those bags. Okay, moving on to two other accessories that I got that I have also been so, so into skinny scarves. I have been living for a skinny scarf moment and these two that I found reminded me so much of the movie Head Over Heels, you know, the one with like Freddie Prince Jr. and all the models in the house. This. This is, again, with the Playboy shirt, everything with this Playboy shirt. Iconic, adorable, so, so cute. It's just like fuzzy and pink and just, I told you this was gonna be the most like fun, fun thrift haul ever, a state sale haul. And the black one, the black one, is a little bit weird looking. I know it's definitely probably not everyone's cup of tea. It kind of looks like a caterpillar, kind of also looks like other things. And again, I love it. I feel like this would just be the cutest thing with a black mini dress for when going out is a thing again. When it is a thing again, I will definitely be, you know, like wrapping this all around my body and doing my damn thing in it, having a good time. These are just iconic accessories. And then another random thing that I found in the scarf bin was this. This is like an old school, probably from like the mid 2000s coach. I think it was like a bag tie or something, like something you would like put on your bag all cutesy cutesy, but I think I'm gonna do it as a bracelet, maybe on the bag. I'm honestly, it's cute on the bag or in my hair as like a little bow. I don't, I don't know. I just felt like I needed this iconic piece of fabric culture history. Okay, now I suppose we should just move along right to the shoes. I will show you guys these first. 
I had to get them in black and red because they were so fabulous and they were my size which you know at estate sales the shoes are either gonna be your size or they're not obviously clothes are a lot easier to play around with different sizes shoes are kind of like they fit you or you don't and this woman had the same size shoe as me so I had to go in and I found these kind of like a Mary Jane style block heel very like I don't know reminded me of like Sue Ellen don't tell mom the babysitter's dead like a 90s work vibe so I thought these were cute in black and red and again like just had to get them. I have no other shoes like them. You know, for when I'm feeling like a conservative fun, you know, moment. I'll slap these on. And the next shoes that I found are these adorable little pink kind of like slides and they're Liz Claiborne and they're just, you know, pink. They've got like this little like flower detail on the top. They're a little noisy. They're a little fun. I am always down for a noisy moment, always down for fun and always down for pink. So these will be cute obviously for spring, summer. And then these shoes. These shoes, uh, I mean guys, these are 80s, these are Yas, these are somehow also Sue Ellen and Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead, just like on a different day at the office pretending, you know, that you're not a 17 year old girl taking care of all of your children and falling in love with the man from Clown Dog. Um, these are great. Honestly, these really are screaming. I am right on top of that rose to me. And they're just white with this tiny, tiny little wedge. And then just these gorgeous little multicolored, kind of like just polka dots all over them. They're sewn on. They kind of look like gems, but they're not. They're sewn on. And for the right type of like office 80s Yas look, these are gonna be the damn ticket. Now, before we get into the clothes, let's go into this fun little bag right here, which is full of vintage, perfumes. This was one of the most exciting finds at this estate sale because as you guys know we are moving into a new apartment in literally just a week. I am so excited. There are going to be so many moving vlogs to come and one of the things I want to do in my bathroom because it's a two bedroom two bathroom guys we are upgrading and I'm gonna have my own bathroom to like film in and vibe in and do my thing in. Um, you know also shower and like pee and stuff but I want to decorate the kind of like marble countertops that we have because it's kind of like a good like 80s granny vibe countertop. I want to do like a tray from an estate sale with vintage perfumes on it so I literally said a couple of days before we went to this estate sale to Tyler that I wanted so badly to start picking up vintage perfumes at estate sales and then we were literally walking around this one and he came up to me and was like here and I was just like okay so there's an Hermes one in here I'm seeing like Lancome I'm seeing stuff from Paris just like gorgeous little bottles from Paris oh my gosh this Clinique happy one is making me happy to look at just like literally all the styles of these little gorgeous vintage bottles. So this is 100% an example of a state sale slash thrift manifestation where I literally had in my mind and kept saying out loud that I wanted to find vintage perfume bottles and then bam, I was delivered this sack. So, okay, now it is time to move on to the clothes. This has been so fun. I feel like we are just hanging out playing dress up. So let's go with the first clothing item that I found, which is this just like cute little rainbow long sleeve top, which I'm sure to some of you guys, like it's not seriously doing it for you right now, but styled with this like low waisted pair of blue, literally the color of my nails, blue trousers that I have in mind, which I'll try on for you guys, like literally stunning. It was in my mind exactly when I bought it. And I think it just brings such a cute little vibe. I'm gonna do a crop to it just to make it a little, you know, bit better of a length for me to fit me better. But you know, spring and summer are coming in and hot and I am here for her and I'm here for her in this shirt. Okay, the next thing that I found was this amazing buttery ass yellow 100% cashmere sweater that was made in Italy. It is so so soft like when I say butter ass yellow I mean that it is buttery and soft as hell when I saw this I was like this color I am so in I'm just gonna say it right here to light yellow and blue like a nice blue and yellow for spring and summer 2021 and I just knew that I could style this up so many ways I am obsessed with it okay this jacket this jacket is something that right off the bat, and I said it in my TikTok, reminds me of just like a suburban football mom. Like, you know those football moms that like go to their boys games like in middle school and high school and just are decked out in like bedazzlements from head to toe. I feel like this is one of those moms, but also fashion, like with leather pants, with a white like ribbed cut off tank, just to kind of like, I don't know, like edge it up a bit. I just am obsessed with the bedazzlements on it. I think it is so incredible, so amazing. It's probably by some like random thing, Isaac Designs, Isaac's Designs. That's definitely like a very thrift store brand. This was something that deserved to have like a second sexy life. So I'm gonna give that to it. And then we have this sweatsuit right here, which I love finding sweatsuits at estate sales. Older people tend to always have like great sweatsuits 
their wardrobes in their closets. Trust me, my grandpa and grandma had so, so many that they would like wear to water aerobics and whatnot. So I found this one that's like a long white sweatpants that is amazing. I have been looking for a good white sweatpant for a while. And then it's like this matching jacket that's like sleeveless and awesome and fabulous and together for just kind of like running errands, running around town. I knew this would be quite a vibe, such a vibe a moment and the last thing in my hundred dollar estate sale is this pink trench coat moment which literally looks identical pretty much to a trench coat that i thrifted I don't know, I feel like maybe a year back or so at St. Vincent de Paul, I want to say, but I ended up redonating that one. And sometimes, you know, you redonate things because you're not wearing them a lot. And then, you know, the universe brings it back into your life. This isn't the exact jacket, but it is so, so similar. And I am so, so happy because ah, I am so into pink again. I am into color, obviously, for spring, and I am ready to sport this baby out and a mother effing bout. So this was an amazing find. I feel like this whole entire haul was full of amazing finds I have to say for me personally the main faves of the video are the denim ass bag and the M initial bag I need you guys to comment down below and let me know which one was yours so you guys should definitely go hit an estate sale go you know hit up estatesales.net put in your little you know zip code zip code I love you guys so much like I said there is so much moving content coming there's a new fashion video coming Friday I love you guys so much don't forget that you are a beautiful ass queen no matter what doing your damn thing just the way you do hit subscribe down below and I will see you guys back here on Friday peace Peace, love, and chubbies. Oh, yeah. This M bag is the moment.